If you are confused about what learning to sing from the diaphragm actually means, you are in the right place. In this video, I will show you what singing from your diaphragm actually means, what its benefits are, and how to approach this in a holistic and integral way. Stick to the end because I actually have a resource that will help you develop this ability of singing from the diaphragm to make your singing much better. My name is Jorgelina. I am a vocal coach and I specialize in teaching adults how to learn to sing contemporary music from a holistic and integral approach. I would like to talk about some common misconceptions around uh, singing from your diaphragm and what it actually means. First of all, a lot of people think that the diaphragm is around here. And I actually have had adult students. I ask them, where do you think your diaphragm is? They point here. But your diaphragm is kind of underneath your ribs. It's quite high actually, and it's a pretty big muscle. So uh, here you have your digestive organs, nothing to do with your diaphragm. They are all below the diaphragm. A lot of people have this idea that if you want to sing well, you have to learn to sing not from the throat, but from the diaphragm. First of all, you are always singing from your throat. This is where your vocal cords are, not here. The vocal cords are here, you are using them to sing. What people commonly talk when they talk about not singing from your throat is they are talking about not engaging the neck muscles in the voice production. Yes, ideally you want to be using the internal muscles of the voice and that is going to make it look like you are not doing anything here, but there, you are actually working at a very efficient level. One of the things that people mean when talking about singing from your diaphragm, usually they are talking about developing a kind of breathing that is not high. Now, this is a misconception as well. Why? Because the diaphragm is your main breathing muscle. You are always using to breathe in any breathing type that you do. Now, usually what happens is because of our current lifestyle, we tend to develop some breathing habits that are a little bit high. So we tend to develop a hyperventilation breathing type actually, in which the breathing is high and we work a lot, not only with the diaphragm, but also with the accessory muscles here. So you are going to sing and you breathe in like this. Ah, my voice is super tight, right? As soon as, soon as I breathe in, my voice is already tight because that kind of breathing is going to do that to me. So the diaphragmatic breathing that comes a little bit more in handy when you are trying to sing is a kind of breathing that involves other fibers of your diaphragm a kind of breathing that is aligned with the voice production. If you breathe in with all these accessory muscles, that is a breathing type that is not functional for singing. Functional for other things, just not for singing. So you have your ribs here, and, and if you uh, breathe in in a way that they are moved to the side, you are going to be working at the diaphragm level in a part of the diaphragm that is uh, functional for singing. This is a kind of breathing that allows the voice production to be much more efficient because there are some accessory muscles that are not getting involved and they are not getting in the way of a healthy and free voice production. If you identify with this high breathing tab that I talked about and you recognize how that affects your voice, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know and I will answer your questions about that as well. If you are interested in developing this breathing skill, go to the description below. I do have a resource that will be really helpful for you. This is a 20 minute introductory lesson that work with breathing and the different breathing types that you have that will be really helpful for you to start exploring this in a slow, gentle and functional manner. 